a Sonic Unleashed remaster, the most underrated, underrated 3D mainline modern Sonic game that is today. Sonic 06, I would say is underrated, but that's got glitch and stuff. But you know why I say Sonic Unleashed is the most underrated mainline 3D Sonic game out there? It's because of all the love and content you can literally see in the game. All of that shit gets so shoved aside because of the flaws that this game holds and which is why this game is held as one of the worst Sonic games in what's the car back according to the main audience. But Sonic Unleashed is so much of a gem that I enjoy so much that I really want to see it remastered. But I really, really want to see certain features added or improved in this remaster that's to happen so that everyone can enjoy it. Both, when I say everyone, I mean both old fans that enjoyed the actual OG game from 2008 and new fans or fans that didn't like the OG. I'm going to be talking about features that should be added and features that should be improved. First, we're going to be talking about the features that should be improved. Oh god. Before we talk about the elephant in the room aka the werehog, we're going to be talking about the hedgehog. Now you're probably thinking, what the hell, the hedgehog was the best thing about this game, that's why we got it inside the colour. But guess what, there were some, and I say some, not that many, but some flaws within obviously Sonic the Hedgehog, his uh, gameplay. And I'll touch on it right now. First of all, Sonic's drift needs some work. Like when I say work, I mean work. Like drifting as Sonic in Sonic Unleashed, you have to be at the right speed. Uh, the right what's called timing to start drifting yeah, and not I go flying into the wrong direction Sonic Generation I believe handled the drift perfectly so you know what I think we should improve the drift in what's called Modern Sonic's mechanic uh, how dare I say Modern Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog mechanic because you know what there's a stage in Missouri I believe it's called the Missouri what's it called place it's like, I think it's Act 3 where what's it called you're drifting basically it's the stage is basically you drifting taking turns right and left and stuff but it is so hard to like get a very good score because you need to be running at a precise speed and drifting at the right time you have to be like a certain angle or certain side you need to be uh, precise or else you'll just fall off and then that's start the mission again so that being said ladies and gentlemen the drift needs to be fixed that's and that's for the whole game as a mechanic and now we're gonna be talking about the obvious there was a werehog the one thing everyone hated about sonic unleashed when i say everyone i mean everyone that doesn't like sonic unleashed they hate about it which is the werehog i love the werehog but you know what i'm gonna be fair i'm gonna say what the werehog needs fixing and then hopefully people can actually enjoy the damn thing now people complain that the werehog is very very slow and his levels are so long now i'm gonna be talking about how the levels can be improved later on in this video but first i'm gonna be talking about the core gameplay so i'm gonna just say it's, it's that simple the werehog needs to move faster now when I say move faster, I don't just mean when you're holding down the L2 trigger, I mean like dead ass just moving faster in general, his attacks should be more faster, and guess what else it should be added? It should be a drop shadow, so when the werehog is landing somewhere, you can see where he's landing, because in stages like, uh, what's it called, that one balancing level in Missouri at night time for the werehog, Sonic the werehog, and also Eggman land, it would be so great if you knew where the hell the werehog was going to land rather than him going to his death or you have to figure it out for yourself by trying to, through trial and error. Really help game if you gave me a drop shadow at least. So we're going to add a drop shadow to add to the werehog. Also, I guess I guess that for both the werehog and the hedgehog, it would help a lot if obviously the loading screen times were better. And the frame rate was better because damn, when you played Sonic the Hedgehog in Adabat and the Werehog at some levels, the frame rate was disgustingly dropping badly. So I want the frame rate to be 60 frames per second, the resolution to be 4K for both the PS4 and the Xbox One. Obviously the Switch is too pussy to handle it, so I guess at least very, very high definition graphics and quality and for the frame rate a stable locked on 30 frames per second with no drop whatsoever and i want this game polished sonic colors ultimate was so messy and buggy upon release i want this sonic unleashed remaster probably called sonic colors ultimate if it actually was to happen to not be released in for early access until that gem gets polished when I say polished, I mean like tested, game tested, probably a million times, no matter how long it takes, just make sure there's no glitches, that's just easy to find. 
Editors know here there's something else I'd like to see in the Sonic Unleashed remaster. That's for the whole game itself, no matter what mode you are. You know, I, you know what I want to see in the whole game Sonic Unleashed. In the settings menu, we need to have the option to disable the Werehog music. I know people did not like the Werehog music. People thought it was annoying every time you just fight an enemy that comes out of nowhere and then. <laughs> You know what? I think there should be an option to disable the Werehog battle music so then we can actually appreciate the brilliant, majestic, phenomenal, I mean, how did I say it right? Phenomenal Werehog uh, themes in what's it called Sonic Unleashed at the nighttime, the nighttime stages. We need to have an option to disable the Werehog battle theme so then, yeah, that happens. And it needs to be in what's it called the settings menu. And we have to have the choice to enable it or disable it. Whenever we want, not what's the call, oh, you can choose one time and that's it, you got to stick with that choice forever, like how Sonic Colors did this shit. Anyways, now that I'm talking about the main mechanic of the game, no matter what mode you are, you probably think it would be mode, and there's so many things you forgot to talk about, Marjan. Well, guess what? I will, and I'm going to be talking about what new features I'd like to be added to Sonic Color, Sonic, oh, how dare I, Sonic Unleashed Ultimate. And you know what the new feature is? I must, I'm going to drop the bomb. Ah, mode. Now you're probably thinking, what happened to your voice and what mode you're on about? We need an easy mode, a normal mode, and a hard mode. Hard mode, sorry guys. An easy mode, and you're probably thinking, why the hell do we need that? Well, guess what? Like I said, people want to play a Sonic game because it's easy. That's why people, they like the OG Sonic Unleashed because it's too hard for them. And they like Sonic Colors because it's so easy. Well, guess what? That easy mode will be for them. For those that just want to play a Sonic game that's just like, oh, calm, I want to buy it. So I want to spend money and buy it to see people like it. Normal mode is where it is. But for those that actually, like me, enjoyed the OG Sonic Unleashed and actually wants a challenge in Sonic games, something that the new Sonic games forget to ever do, we can use hard mode. Now, I'm going to be talking about what each mode contains that will help people. We're going to start off with the obvious, the easy mode. Oh yeah, like and subscribe. Easy mode. What will we be adding in easy mode to make sure that new players or players that didn't even like the OG Sonic Unleashed will enjoy about easy mode for Sonic Unleashed because they chose it, it's their choice and they have to stick with it. They, if they want to choose hard, normal mode or hard mode, then they find it shit. At least easy mode is for them. What are we going to add? Sonic Colors Ultimate made this a new feature. You know what? As much as that Sonic Colors Ultimate didn't need it because of how easy that game is, Sonic Unleashed, I admit, is a difficult game for new newcomers. Which is why this feature should be added, which is the Tail Save feature. What do Tail Save feature does? Tail saves you, like how Sonic Colors Ultimate shows, but obviously there's no glitches and bugs. Sonic Unleashed Ultimate needs a Tail Save feature in easy mode. When you fall off down a pit to your death, Tails will save you if you have enough Tails medallions, Tails saves medals or some shit like that. If you fall down, whether you're the Hedgehog or the Werehog, Tails will save you. And when he saves you, you keep the amount of rings you have and the amount of the score you have. Guess who is the shit now, number two you The Sun and Moon medals will not need to be found in easy mode in order to progress to stages by like unlocking new stages but well, let me get back to the tail save feature this video is so badly constructed but ah, well it's margin numbers this is raw talk this ain't no writing a paper reading out this is raw talk because this is how much i really really want this done right anywho's the tail save feature really needs to be added into the easy mode so then new players or players that did like the og because it's too hard they don't have to complain because if they fall down a pit tail saves them and they keep the rings they have and the score so that's that and also there's something else no life system in the easy mode. You can die as many times as you want and you will never ever get a game over. But obviously if you don't have a tail save feature then you will ha lose the amount of rings you have on your score and that means your S rank will vary. But the tail save feature and the no life system that Sonic Colors Ultimate did that will be added to the easy mode of Sonic Colors Ultimate. Now, you're probably thinking is that it? Well guess what? There's something else I want to talk about. We're going to be talking about the one thing people hated about Sonic Unleashed. The Werehog! The Werehog people complained that his levels took too long mainly because these players decided to waste more time fighting enemies but I understand people say these enemies are a buttload of them so you know what we're gonna be talking about them. For Sonic the Werehog his levels are very long I, I do admit but sometimes I, I a lot of times I have fun doing it well then guess what in easy mode how about we have the player start from the, as the Werehog from a later part in the stage and like, what's it called, get to the goal ring a lot faster, so then gets to the goal ring a lot faster. And also, the amount of times he has to battle enemies can be reduced, because it's easy mode. 
And if you guys think this is the dumbest thing you've ever heard your whole life, just remember Sonic Heroes exists and Sonic Heroes has a team called Team Rose. In Team Rose's stages, they start at a later point in the stage and they have less enemies to deal with. Literally have that for the easy mode of the Werehog in Sonic Unleashed Ultimate, where the Werehog starts later on in the stage and they have less enemies to deal with. Instead of like the usual 5, 6, 7 segments of enemies to beat up, have only 1, 2 or 3 for easy mode. Just like how for Team Rose, you start at a later point in the stage and you fight less enemies enemies so i'm not speaking complete bullshit well it's easy mode you chose it so you have to get the easy mode obviously and obviously the levels won't take longer so that's that that's a simple equation right there but also like i said so uh, for the whole game itself the warehog mechanics he runs fast his attacks are faster and also like i said it before the what's it called the warehog battle theme can be disabled so people don't have to complain about that ruining the song however i'm gonna be talking about what could happen for the game itself as the whole soundtrack and remix i'm gonna be talking about that later on after i talk about this whole easy hard normal mode Oh, my voice hurts. I'm speaking in the morning, damn it. Anywho's, I think I've touched up on easy mode. And I said it before, this easy mode, you don't need to what's called, collect sun medals to uh, advance to more night stages. You don't need to collect night medals to advance to more sun uh, time, daytime stages. We don't need any of that. And the whole world, uh, what's it called? They'll still be there, but you don't have to be looking for sun and moon medals to progress, obviously. Anywho's. We're going to be talking about the next mode, which is normal mode. Now, you're probably thinking, how are we going to make the normal mode more challenging than the easy mode, but not as challenging as hard mode? Simple. We're going to be keeping... Ah, oh, my voice cracked. We're going to be keeping the tail save feature right there. So, obviously, if you die, then tail saves you, whether you're a hug and headshot or hedgehog, and you keep your rings and score. However, the life system will be re-added back. So, if you don't have any tail save medals, for, so then tails cannot save you because you don't have it, then if you lose a life by falling down a pit... You know exactly what's gonna happen. You lose one life. So yeah, you have to be focused more than you are in easy mode. As for the Werehog, I said in easy mode, his level design, I say level design, the length of the level will be reduced a lot because obviously you spawn at a latest part of the stage and you fight less enemies. In normal mode, we will perhaps, what's it called, spawn at the start of the level. However, the amount of enemies you face won't be as much compared to how much enemies you'll be facing in hard mode. You will basically, what's it called, fight like i don't know for a three four five amount of what's called groups of enemies and obviously like i said before the warehog battle music is going to be disabled if you want it so you don't have to complain about that annoying you but yeah in normal mode the amount of times you fight the what's it, a group of enemies what's it called before advancing through the stage will be reduced not as much as the easy mode but more than the hard mode so people don't have to complain about that and warehog levels can be appreciated for once and like i said there'll be a drop shadow so people can't complain about what's it called the thing can happen need i remind you the Werehog is a completely different character, right? Let's be honest. If the Werehog was Sonic as Knuckles, then no one would, co would complain. But since it's the Werehog, people complain because, oh my god, that's meant to be Sonic. Why is he not so fast for? Well, guess what? The we Sonic the Werehog is meant to be different. However, guess what? You know why I don't complain about Sonic the Werehog apparently replacing Sonic's friends? Because Sonic Unleashed is the only time it came and it's never been in any mainline Sonic game ever since. We don't see it in what's it called Sonic Forces, unlike Classic Sonic, is just sho shoved in. But ah, well, I'm getting off topic. This is about Sonic Unleashed Ultimate being a remaster rather than talking about failures like Sonic Forces. <coughs> Anywho's. <laughs> leaves us on to hard mode now you're probably thinking what is hard mode well guys hard mode is basically drum roll please the og sonic unleashed itself when i say og is itself i mean there's no tail safe feature there is a life system and guess what the werehog levels does not get reduced you don't start at a later part of the stage and you still fight the same amount of enemies as you did in the og sonic unleashed for those that are like me who actually love challenges in sonic games like i said that the new sonic games don't fucking never do and actually like the og sonic unleashed unlike all these people that don't like sonic unleashed because they hated it so much because it was so hard for them the hard mode is there for us so we can enjoy a challenge we can enjoy the greatness that is the werehog levels and the daytime stages from sonic himself 
We can enjoy that, but obviously we can have a better controlling of modern Son. How dare I? Son the Hedgehog is in terms of drift, and obviously the Werehog. We can just decide to disable or enable the back the battle music, and we have a what's it called drop shadow, and the frame rate is better. Obviously that because that's for the whole game itself. But for hard mode, we don't have the tail safe feature because we don't need it because we're already experts at the game. We don't need we need the life system, so then we can only have a certain amount of times to play a game before we get a game over, and obviously. We don't need any cuts or changes to the Werehog levels, obviously. As in, like, the level design and that's called length time. So, yeah, that's easy mode, normal mode, and hard mode. That's the main thing added to Sonic Unleashed Ultimate, the Sonic Unleashed Remaster, that will keep a balance between old fans and new fans and people that like the OG and people that did not like the OG. I probably think it is that it, Martin Ambrose. Well, guys, I hope you guys think that this whole easy mode, normal mode, and hard mode thing is a good idea because I think it is, and I think that whatever Sonic Ultimate was trying to go for, What's the call in terms of the tail safe feature was a good idea and how it should be put into Sonic Unleashed Ultimate to help new fans who struggle a lot in this game and from the OG. So we talked about the modes. Now let's talk about some other things that I like to see added into the game. Let's talk about the customizable features that Sonic Colors Ultimate brought in. I actually love the idea of customizing Sonic the Hedgehog or the Werehog to be in levels. So then you know what? It adds a bit more flair and character to the hedgehogs when you're going through the stages. Hell, you could dress up as Sonic the Werehog or the Hedgehog to fit with the level, the what's called area as in the city or the country you are in. For example, Sonic could wear a t-shirt and short when he's in Missouri or Savannah Sedaro, the stage, at daytime obviously. He could wear that because obviously Missouri is a hot country if you can't tell already from what the humans are wearing. He could wear that or if you want to be traditional or cultural, he can wear a cheetah costume because cheetahs are animals in Missouri because it's based off Africa. Yeah. And Sonic can wear the cheetah costume like the one from Sonic Rivals 2, which is a very underrated Sonic game from a very underrated Sonic series. But I digress. You can wear that. Empire City, the country that's based off. So what can our blue blur wear? He can wear a work suit like this pedophile over here. Or if you want to be cultural and that whatnot, he can wear the slugger's costume like the one from Sonic Forces Speed Battle. You know why? Exactly. Holoska is in the Antarctica or whatnot, and it's a very winter snowy kind of place. So what can Sonic wear? He can wear a winter jacket like the one from Sonic Boom. Or, first because obviously winter, Christmas, ha 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 ha, you can wear the Santa costume like the one from Sonic Adventure 2. And when you're in Spagonia or Rooftop Run, Sonic can wear a t-shirt and short because it's a nice old sunny area. Or you can wear some French clothes if you know what I'm saying. And then obviously everyone's favourite, Apotos, Sonic can wear a t-shirt and short, like a nice calm, chill clothes. Or he can wear some Greek clothes what and whatnot. Look at what the humans there are wearing, like this man's got a sailor kind of costume. Give Sonic a sailor costume, whatnot. Let's do that! And, oh uh, crap, I say that I want to see Sonic wear costumes, especially the cultural costumes, depending on the country and stuff like that. I do really want to see it, but like... I do not want to see my boy Sonic wearing a fanjabi because people in Shama wear it. Because I'm a Muslim man, it's gonna look kind of weird seeing a pretty fictional video game character as a hedgehog wearing clothes that I wear when I ah. But yeah, I want to see Sonic wear clothes in this game, like because he's in the human world, the human world. Guess where I live? In a human world. Guess where you live? If you're watching right now, in a human world. Sonic is literally in a human world in this game, and Sonic goes through stages that's based in countries that's based off where we live. Look, it's literally there. Literally give Sonic human clothes because he's in our world, as you can see in this game. Give Sonic human clothes because when people play this game, both new fans and old fans, they can be connected because the main character who they're playing as, which is a blue hedgehog, which isn't even human, he's wearing human clothes like what we're wearing. Perfect opportunity, bring that in for customization, not really reskins of the fucking shoes and gloves. But yeah. And yes, I need to make note of this. The player should have the choice to wear whatever costume they unlock in whatever stage. Don't limit us for what we're wearing in, in for Sonic to wear clothes, and depending on what stage. Don't limit it. Let us wear whatever costume we want Sonic to wear in whatever area. That's all I have to say for costumes. Ah! May I need to remind you guys that no wisp should be added to Sonic Unleashed Ultimate. Do not have these stupid wisps anywhere near Sonic Unleashed Ultimate. I don't like these wisps. These wisps should not touch it. We don't need lasers to help Sonic go past stages because Sonic is more than capable of going past the stages in Sonic Unleashed. What's it called? By himself. We don't need some stupid power-ups. We don't need Jade Ghost Wisps. We don't need Yakka, the fucking boost, to help us 
get the boost in Sonic Unleashed. We don't need laser to go up. We don't need rocket. We don't need any of these stupid idiots. Keep these stupid wisps out of it. We don't need classic Sonic bullshit. We don't need to alter the level design in Sonic Unleashed to fit more 2D sections, okay? We don't need any of that. There's something else I want to say that I want to be added. Sonic Unleashed on the Xbox 360 and the PS3 had some DLC, which is more extra stages for people that they want to download it. Obviously, because Sonic Unleashed Ultimate is going to be the ultimate experience, add these what's it called DLC stages already in the remastered game, because then it will make more sense for the pricing cost. This game is over 10 years old, so adding these DLCs in the game, in the base game, without needing to download it on the PlayStation Store or the Xbox Live, what's it called store, it will be a good idea, so add these DLC stages for both the Werehog and the Hedgehog. Anywho, we're going to be talking about the soundtrack. Now, guess what? Personally, I don't think that the soundtrack of Sonic Unleashed Ultimate needs to have a remaster. This, the soundtrack is brilliant in Sonic Unleashed. One of my favourite soundtracks in Sonic history. And obviously the first is Sonic 06 and the second is Sonic Heroes, but I say third is Sonic Unleashed. The Sonic Unleashed soundtrack does not need a remaster, but obviously if you Sega needs to for some reason do a remaster of the whole soundtrack, then by all means go for it. But we 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 need the chance to no sorry I said chance. We 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 need the opportunity to flip in enable whether we want these remix tracks in or not. Sonic Colors Ultimate unfortunately forced us. To really have these remix tracks in Act 1 and 2 of that and had the original in Act 3. We need the choice to choose whether we want the remix soundtrack to be in the likes of Rooftop 1, Act 1 and 2 and everything like that. Or we, we don't want it like that. We have to have the choice. Sonic Generations, you had the opportunity to check whatever theme we want playing in the background. You need the same for Sonic Unleashed Ultimate. Haha, <laughs> you thought I was done? No, uh, uh, I still got a few more things I want to get off my chest. Let's start with online multiplayer. I'm going straight in online multiplayer. I heard Sonic Colors Ultimate was going to get online multiplayer. Why the hell has it not got it then? Huh? Honestly, a missed opportunity online multiplayer. Local multiplayer would be awesome as well, but I don't know how you're going to get that stuff to work with the daytime stages. But bro, local multiplayer in the night stages. People complain, oh my god, it's taking so long beating all our enemies. Well, guess what? Imagine you beating the shit out of all the enemies with your boy or girl playing two players, local two players, bruv. I don't know how you're gonna fit two werehogs or some shit like that. Oh hell, probably bringing Knuckles to help uh, Sonic the werehog, that'd be funny. And you know, people did say, oh my god, Knuckles should be better. So Knuckles shouldn't be played rather than the werehog. I don't know. Probably bringing Knuckles to play alongside the werehog for the nighttime stages, local multiplayer. But you know what should be added? Online multiplayer. Online multiplayer. That's what I say. You guys know what to do from there. But yeah, online multiplayer should be added. Sonic Colors Ultimate should have had it, but the fact that it doesn't fucking pisses me off sometimes. But yo, Sonic Unleashed Ultimate needs it. And now, something else I want to talk about. This is not a feature being added. This is actually a feature that I do not want to see added, regardless of what mode. For the whole game itself, what feature I do not want to see added. You know what it is? Fucking up the visuals, like how they did for Sonic Colors Ultimate. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? And why the hell is Sonic so damn fucking gloomy? I'm so sorry for swearing, but why? Sonic Colors, people loved it so much, the OG, because of the awesome lights and the awesome level aesthetics and everything like that. And when you play Sonic Colors in 4K, in the best quality on Dolphin Emulator, everyone jizzes because of how awesome it looks. But then Sonic Colors Ultimate, who what we thought would be, be like Sonic um, Colors on Dolphin, they've made it fucking ugly. I don't care. Sonic Colors on Dolphin in the high quality is million times better than Sonic Colors uh, Ultimate because why is Sonic Colors Ultimate are all the damn stages so dark or too bright sometimes it looks like the, 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 the music pack is even open and then the Sonic models so damn bloody gloomy. I don't want to see that in Sonic Unleashed Ultimate. I don't want to see Sonic the Hedgehog or the Werehog be like glow sticks. I do not want to see Rooftop Run at about stages like what's it called Jungle Joyride, Missouri, what's it called Empire City. All of these stages either dark as fuck or bright as hell. I don't want to see that, okay? Do not ruin the visuals for Sonic Unleashed Ultimate like how you've ruined the visuals for Sonic Colors Ultimate, okay? But yeah, that's the visuals talked about. Whew, this is probably my longest topic discussion video I've made to be honest, you know that? But yo, anything for Sonic, anything for the Sonic, anything for Sonic Unleashed the GOAT. But yeah, I've, I think I've talked about all that I want to say 
Reminder guys and people watching this video, this video isn't meant to talk about what Sonic Unleashed Ultimate should have for everyone. This is simply a video that I'm talking about what, I, what I'd like to see for Sonic Unleashed Ultimate. I've talked about what I want to see for Sonic Unleashed Ultimate and the fact that I talked about the easy mode, the normal mode, the hard mode, each mode meant to be catering towards different kind of fans, you know, those that did like the OGs, those that did, those that might find the OG struggling and stuff like that. I think you guys should be grateful for that. Like, if I really truly made this video to like cater towards me, like talk about what I want to see, I wouldn't talk about the easy mode and normal mode. I'd just say nothing should be changed. I would never ever talk about adding the tail safe feature if I really didn't give a shit about anyone. But in the least I could do is talk about the least I could do is, you know, suggest some features that would help other pe fans as well as me. Yes, this video is titled what I would love to see for Sonic Unleashed Ultimate, but I have talked about what I'd love to see added to the game so other people can enjoy. So if I haven't, if I have not talked about a feature or like said I want to see this and that, and uh, got a feature that you would like to see, then you can't blame me, okay? Remember, this video is what, what I want to see, okay? Be grateful for the fact that I mentioned a lot of things that I don't want to see, but I want to see in the game if it means other people could be happy. Um, so that's yeah, that's it really. My longest video, guys. I have edited this video, and I, you know what, guys, I'm editing this video for so damn long. The production I put into this video, the, the editing, everything, so top tier. Like you guys cannot literally say that this video is half-assed. I know the construction of the video is very bad. Like my points, it's like not constructed in a nice way, and I stutter a lot, but. Honestly, this is all raw talk. This is all me talking from the bottom of my heart, not me writing on the paper and rehearsing and shit like that. But yeah, honestly, I really, really would appreciate if you guys liked and subscribed. As I haven't put it that much in the video that much. I would really, really appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed and share this video around. And I hope this video does well in views. I got seven, I got over 700 subs and yet my videos don't even get past 100 views unless it's something mega instructive. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this long ass video. And if, if you guys have heard any features that I've talked about in this video that you guys like, comment down what you liked about the video, what what features you want to see in the game. And I'll, you know, I might I might respond to the comment and talk about what, about what my opinions on that and whatnot. My voice is dying, honestly. Oh, my voice is badly dying. But yeah, that's it, really. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sonic Unleashed Ultimate. I only, like I say before, like I said at the start of the video, I only want to see a Sonic Unleashed remaster or a Sonic game in general, whether it's a remaster, a port, a remake, or a new game. I only want to see it from Sega. Anything. If they take their goddamn time. If they don't rush the shit. If they don't give it for early release or some shit like that. I want it polished. I said it at the start of this video, around the start. Sonic Unleashed Remaster if it's ever to happen by Sega. I do not want it if Sega plans on rushing it just for a quick money grab or because people demanded it. I want them to develop it and take their goddamn time. I want them to take their time. I don't want to see glitches on the, f on the day first days of release. I don't want to see so much BS in the game that people would just shit and flipping hate about. I want to see this game polished, okay? No frame drops, no shitty visuals, no glitches and shit upon the first week of release. And no F-ups, okay? Polish this game. I don't care if it takes you three, four years of development. We don't this is this is a remaster, it isn't a new game. You don't have to what's it called rush to, rush this for development. Have this be done by a new team that actually can develop a team, not blind scroll, an actual good team that will take their damn time. But yeah, this video has been a rant and a discussion video. Wow wow wow. Anyways, I hope you guys liked it and subscribe. That's all I have to say. See ya!